everybody, welcome to AJS News' this is video two of two for today. But first, a word from our sponsors. Guys, check out how helpful my Rocket Money app is. You see here, you can go through all your reoccurring subscriptions. I got one for Hotworks. I put the account on hold. All of a sudden, it went back up to full in statement. I was I was paying it was paying nine on hold and then it went up to seventy. Wait, what? <laughs> I did not do that. But I got the notification from Rocket Money. That's it. This app is free and that just paid for itself. And this is why you should have this app because it's constantly monitoring all the things that charges you. You know, it helps you plan your budget. Yeah, it did the same thing for me this month. It said like, hey, your gas bill is way higher than normal. I looked at it. It's like, that's weird. Didn't change anything call them up they're like oh yeah there's a there was a, a, a meter reading error uh here's forty dollars back it's like you Damn. this is such a great you thing you mother? need <laughs> i caught you see i've been using rocket money for a long time i got the boys into it mm -hmm. i like to stay on top of everything and look it it's beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best things that I've done. It's helped me stay organized. Guys, you got to grab it. It's yeah. completely free. If you want to go above and beyond, there are premium features, but it is so helpful for us. Go check it out, rocketmoney.com slash Show. Click the link below. Get it organized. Mm -hmm. And, I got, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check it out. Guys, check out Rocket Money. The reminders that I get when things are due and I get to see – what the how much more my bills are Increased. sometimes and i can do actually do something about it yeah. it's so helpful easy uh links down below it'll do do yourself a favor um ajs news uh oh shirts shirts are in shirts are in go check them out for those of you who have already good looking got shirt. yours thank you so much for supporting <laughs> us this goes directly towards us get yourselves a shirt always win every argument being an annoying contrarian Automatically with your friend. <laughs> All you have to do is point at your shirt when your friend is talking to you. And Joe does it for you, to be fair. In other to be fair news, I suck at Black Myth Wukong. And I am struggling without Alex's help, but I'm doing it on my own. Okay. So please allow me more time to finish getting my asses kicked by the bosses. I've got some hilarious bits of... You know, some fuck uh, intercuts. Uh, plenty of fucks to be given. Uh, I'm just not very good at these types of games. I know it's not Super Souls-like, but it is somewhat a boss gauntlet. Um, we're also still playing through uh, Space, Space Marine. That Marines. will be the next review after Wukong. Um, so we're hoping towards the end of this week, Wukong, and then the next week, uh, hopefully Space Marine. But please allow us uh, some time on that. Thank you so much for your patience. That's what's coming up uh, here. And then plenty of other videos in the meantime, just yeah. covering some games that are really awesome that we want to let you know about. Zero Hour, some of these other games that kind of released during these two big big mega games that are worth your time. Zero Hour, uh, I think we got Frostpunk coming up. Forever, Forever Winter. Winter is a really cool uh, game. We met those guys. We played their game. It's like sort of an extraction shooter and a Terminator slash... Pretty Futuristic post-apoculyptic <laughs> world. Yeah. OJ will get you killed. Yeah. OJ always get you killed. It was an accident. So uh, videos on that later. Uh, Zero Hour will be up later on today. Thank you for supporting us. And uh, please stay tuned for more. Um, and I think there's... I don't know, I don't know what's coming up in movie-wise, but... Uh, the Jonkler 2? Oh, yeah. The Jonkler 2. That's October. Okay. Cool. Um Alex, what the hell else has been going on in gaming news? Uh, we put out a video that you should check out about the PS5 Pro launch, but in case you didn't see it, uh, I know you're going to watch it later, uh, the PS5 Pro... Are you out of your mind? $700. Um, 800 if you want all the good stuff. Um, so it has a larger GPU, advanced ray tracing, and AI-driven upscaling. Joe, but does the that, exact same CPU. Dude, does that mean that we're going to get guaranteed 60 frames per second, Joe? No! Oh, that's weird. It gets worse. Um, <laughs> why? In, in order to achieve the label, you really only need to be upgrading your you know, uh, 1080p to, to 244, 2440 p and 2K you don't really ish. need to 2K-ish. Not even 2K. Yeah, 2K-ish. But you don't even really need to go to 60 frame, you know, uh, baseline. The you can still do 30 frames. And that's like, bro, if I want to be paying that much, 
the only way I would ever consider paying that much, which I still wouldn't do it because I'm just not the target. I don't do console refreshes. I do console sequels. Show me the PlayStation 6. I'll yeah. consider it, but I don't do this. But the only way I would is it's like, bare minimum, Joe, you're going to get 2K, real 2K, and real 60 frame across every game. Don't you worry. Everything runs perfectly smooth. And just because we like you, we'll throw in the stand. And then we'll give you the stand, <laughs> right? Because we like you. But Sony says, we don't like you. No. $30 extra for the stand. Eighty dollars extra for the disc drive. If you can even find them, because if you, you know, cause if you're old school, uh, then fuck you. Uh, you, you can't get used games. No, you yeah. have to buy new, you brand buy, new games. You know, and you can't share with so your friends. The best thing about fuck OJ y'all. sucking at video games is when he can't beat a game. He's like, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's like, then I, yeah, and then it like, goes to that's uh, one uh, uh, game. Goes to us. <laughs> and it goes so to him. I, I, I need to give it back to you. So you Bloodborne. Have yeah, which Blood one? Bloodborne. Uh, which it's is Bloodborne. the game that if they release, that's something that will never <laughs> happen again. <laughs> In you the can beat Bloodborne. I know you can. Yeah, I actually started the Wukong. If I can beat Wukong, Pretty good. and yeah, you could, and you beat P, right? Or yes. you had his help. No, I sat yes. next to him. He sat. That counts it. as his help because that's how we got through Elden Ring. That was no, he didn't show up to like the boss. I was playing by myself. Yeah, but Dan, he told you at the boss strategies. Yeah, he was watching yeah. me play. He was with his notes. <laughs> oh, you have to not get hit. Ah, uh, uh, that's what I've been. Uh, doing. That's what I've been doing wrong. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. So the aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> PS5 Pro, I don't know who it's for. Maybe if you don't have a PlayStation and you've been waiting and you have way too much money and you don't care about any of these things and you're fine with a really small yeah. catalog of games. And you and you don't want, like, I don't know, seven or eight games that you could buy with that money. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And then maybe, if you're lucky, you can find a GameStop that will give you a bunch of money for it. Although, the, the pictures, apparently, there was, like, one GameStop that did it for, like, marketing purposes and they're not giving anywhere near that much money bag now. of skittles oh, no. yeah. they lied yeah, then when you walk into the store but but you said for I give you that 100 was, bucks look at the fine print he looks at the fine print that that was a that's what we gave bill uh our in-game our our store employee yeah and then every single one from that goes down because now we have 100 bucks 17 playstation 5s back here and yours is now worth one hundred and twenty-three dollars. Yeah, just go I get say, that fuck old one, refurbished one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there's not a whole lot and of a use bag for of Skittles. It. Yeah. What, what bag? What, what flavor though? Tropical. Mm, it's the it's no purple or green. It's purple. it's the pink. It's the peaches pink one. It's the smoothie one. Oh. So I'm not trading. Sorry. Aren't all of those like kind of banana flavored? Like all of yeah, them are. Yeah, they, they were weird. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Another PlayStation news, Sony has uh, eventually decided to uh, stick with AMD uh, for the next PlayStation, PlayStation 6, so they are not going... Wow, uh, you actually have PlayStation 6 news? Yeah, and so uh, Intel was in the running, Uh, PlayStation is sticking with AMD, and this is kind of a big big deal for Intel, it's like 30 billion, they're estimating 30 billion dollars that could have gone to Intel is what this deal uh, was worth. Damn, so you thought Intel would probably work harder to try to steal it from, get it get it out from under uh, AMD. But, you know, if you are, they were already partnered, you know, they did it previously, so it's a little easier for the incumbent to uh, usually try to win out. Yeah. Um, and so they're, they're saying that it may be due to backwards compatibility is, a, is reportedly a priority for Sony. So the PS6 chipset may utilize the x86 architecture for full compatibility with PS4 and PS5. One of the, probably makes one of the sense. reasons. So it totally makes sense that this is the direction that you're going. Um, so still we're talking about six, Joe. Can't wait. Can't wait till we get to nine. You remember? We're going to get nine. It better be exactly like that. God it's God. not. <laughs> or <laughs> sweet. Right. Maybe it's not like that, but if it isn't, they should at least do an Easter egg and make it look like that. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't do what it did in the commercial. They'll start doing something stupid like PlayStation Next, PlayStation Infinity, PlayStation something. And it's like I don't know. It might just be like you like you were saying and, and how what you were impressed with on your T V it might just be an app in the future. You yeah. just go and the app does everything. It's still great. Like I yeah, that, it's kind. It's that. kind of the future. If, as long as internet continues to get better, and you know, I mean, it's it's really crazy. 
Uh, all right. Bungie has once again stolen um, from its fans. Mm. And so uh, Bungie admits that fan art was used in an official Destiny 2 collectible. Says the artist will be compensated and credited for their incredible artwork. Because <laughs> they got caught. Found, <laughs> yeah. found out. Yeah. Uh, this if is, nobody said nothing, then we weren't going to pay nobody. Nope. Yeah. This is the third time fan art has ended up in official Destiny third 2 product. Third time. Uh, this happens all of the time. It's not just a Bungie thing. It, like we used to fo- I used to follow Magic the Gathering all the time. Artists would just blatantly steal they would add you know one thing to it and like this is my art it's like you're a thief and a scumbag and uh nothing ever happens so the person who stole this art i don't have any information whether or not they get fired or not probably not they're probably just sorry yeah, well, they, they should just start a fucking it. segment just start, make it a thing i think you can get positive pr out of it hey we're running a thing where once every month we implement a fan design Cause there, there, it seems to be we Destiny needs some fucking help <laughs> making fucking things. If they're constantly stealing, just make a fucking segment, win five hundred, win a thousand, win whatever dollars you want to give to the community, and and then this person who created it could actually use that in their resume when they go to other game companies, when they get a job, when they do like make it a positive thing. No, these motherfuckers have to. <laughs> underhanded and be Cost like this money. is my thing <laughs> and then a bunch of people you know point out how it looks exactly like that other thing and they say oh yeah yeah you're right well here's some money shut up well this one goes it's different Joe it's different see ours is different but I remember that shit, Joe. See this go. <laughs> See this goes. It's the same din, song. Din, 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 din. <laughs> Ours goes. Din, 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 din. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that, it's the same. It's the same one. <laughs> yeah. So this artist, Tofu Rabbit, tweeted that uh, the, their art directly lifts the commission I did in 2015. Uh, mm. This is not similar or coincidence. You can see the same brush strokes that I did. Uh, it's from, from a nerf design, and so... Um, and then, Damn. I don't know. I mean, this is... Don't steal from your fans, please. No, you they're like caught. They're like the ones that you want to nurture and, you know, appreciate, <laughs> not steal. <laughs> huh? Uh, I was uh, don't say, do it. Don't I was do gonna it, Alex. I nasty about don't Destiny do it, fans, Alex. but I only want to say nasty things about like There's, my friends that are Destiny they, fans. Yes, so it's like, <laughs> there are plenty of angry army yeah, yeah, members. Like Flippy and Connor and who and play Grant that shit on a regular. They play it, and it's it's such. <laughs> you just like play a different game. Just play something better. What's wrong with you? They would tell you. Stop There's, it. there's nothing right now, I guess, and they're. In that genre, they've I guess they're Space kind Marine of right. Yeah. yeah, they've been they moved on to better things, which yeah, is anything. Call of Duty up around anything the is better. Mm-hmm. So they said they're not having fun with it anymore. Uh, so uh, it only good. took. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get. It's a quiz, OJ. Oh shit! And it's this steady. C-level executive who hasn't C-level executive who has not worked in the video game industry said mm-hmm. something this week. C Do you think it was a mountain level? C C level. <laughs> well. Do you think he said something smart or he said something stupid? Something stupid. Yeah. Um, th- this <laughs> Joe, you're supposed to get it wrong. <laughs> yeah. So this guy was interviewed. Again, he has he was in charge of Sony for a long period of time. He hasn't been in the video game industry for 19 years. Uh, and then why the fuck they ask him? I don't know. But it turned into something. The only reason I'm, talk- like, I'm talking about it is other people are talking about it. I think this guy should just be ignored. I'm not even going to tell you his name or where this thing came from. But oh, come on. You have to. Now you, you we're reporting his, on it. His Dude. name is Deering. He's a 79-year-old. He was president of Sony from 95 to 2005. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was looking at the, the state currency of the industry. Yeah. And he said, you know, it's like it's, it's, it's not greed. It's, I think it's probably very painful to the managers. Uh, and he says, look, video game developers are, are not condemned – uh, to a lifetime of poverty or limitations since the industry is still so good. You should just uh, drive an Uber or whatever, go off, find a cheap place to live, and go to the beach for a year, but keep up with your news and keep with it because once you get off the train, it's much harder. Um, what the fuck is sec- he talking about? I don't even know what job. it means. <laughs> yeah, so if you get laid off in the industry, it's not because people are greedy. Oh. Uh, you should just drive Uber and then look for more jobs. It's just an, a super out-of-touch thing from a guy who is 
almost 80 years old who hasn't worked in the industry for 20 years. And the second they're like, they said, what do you think the 80 year old uh, C level executive said? It's like probably something fucking dumb, yes. something completely out of touch who hasn't had like, <laughs> you know, that this kind of job. Who now they're just for dunking new- on grandpa yeah. at this point because you knew he was going to say something stupid. Yeah. So uh, just ask any 80 year old and they're just going to say dumb shit. I mean, that's just. Yeah. They, they they grew up in a world that does not exist now, and they're like, well, you should buy clothes for a nickel. They're 80. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. 80. yeah. Watch to be movies. fair, there are good good grandpas and good grandmas like y'all. It's just there's few. We don't ask there's them about. There's few. We don't ask them about. There's, you know, yeah, there's certain they're things they're you don't ask them about. How much is the movie dear now? 50 cents? Is it? Yes. yes. Take a nickel. 50 cents? Is yeah. it what? Thank you. <laughs> it's going to cover well, nothing. never nickel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. At one point, the best candy in the movie theater was Raisinets. Yeah, mm. mm, mm, mm. I actually like Raisinets. I do. I, yeah. Don't be talking shit. <laughs> but it's not the best candy in the movie. Mm, what's the best candy? That's what I thought. But it's not Raisinets. raisinets. It's not. I think it's no. the little cookie dough ones. No, they taste wrong. That ain't actual cookie dough. No, bread. no, no. I, the bunch of crunch. I, um, Sour bunch Patch Kids are pretty pretty yeah. damn good. I like candy that lasts a long That's time. That's a go, go-to. You know, Sour Patch. Last, last time. Reason? Twizzlers. <laughs> oh, no. Twizzlers have horrible texture. Less Red vines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Europe's top court has for, uh, orders Apple to pay $14 billion <laughs> in oh. unpaid taxes to Ireland. Uh, Apple has long used Ireland as a tax haven. The Irish like it because there are some jobs there. They actually, and so they do funnel money through Ireland. And so they viewed it as a win-win, but the EU is like, Ireland. you cannot have one of the largest companies in the entire fucking world pay very little taxes comparatively. You can't, we don't want to be using one of our countries as a tax haven. Ireland didn't want them to pay it. They actually fought back on Apple's behalf. I was like, no, 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 no. And the EU said, okay. absolutely not. You're going to make them pay these taxes. Collect $14 billion <laughs> from them. This is not how we do business. They're just going to give it right back to them, man. Yeah, there's going to be, but this just kind of. Oh, look at that. There's a $14 billion check in my mail. <laughs> <laughs> Ireland. It's mine. Yeah, it's mine. It's more Ireland. I want to go check it out. It's mine. Uh, oh, it's great. It's a wonderful country. You should what? definitely. Do. Oh, yeah, I've, I've been I'm, to Ireland a couple oh, times. Oh, nice. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to go to definitely, Scotland. Definitely go check it out. And then I'll go to Ireland. Uh, Apple says that this is, you know, we pay always pay all the taxes we owe wherever we operate, and there's never been a special deal. Sure. And then everyone was like, fuck a horse shit, you know, shut, shut up. Um, it's, other, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. I like that part. Yeah. This so. country is bullshit. You know, active, remember all those years Activision paid zero in taxes, meaning Joe. Joe Lopez paid more taxes than Activision <laughs> to the government. Yeah. I mean, Apple's one of those. Co- I love it when corporations get away with uh, tax tax fraud and not paying taxes. No joke. And then what some- happens is it's not that they're, they're paying no taxes. Oh. Is they form offshore companies yeah, yeah. in small nations. And in, then the Apple, Apple U.S., owes that company or funnels all the money through that company mm-hmm. and then they pay that nation's tax yes. which is three dollars yes and so it's like <laughs> i'd rather pay three dollars than 14 billion dollars <laughs> right um, and then and then complain about things yeah know, it's yeah. like no no nice. it's fine so nice uh annapurna interactive uh major news went on this week so um They've been pu- publishing some pretty great games. We play a lot of the their, their little cute ones. Yeah, Stray, big one just recently. Yeah, and according to Bloomberg, uh, the staff of Annapurna uh, all quit earlier this month following a dispute with Megan Ellis, the owner of the parent company, what? Annapurna Pictures. So it's a production company. Um, the two sides were apparently in talks to potentially spin off the video game division into its own company, you know, to huh. kind of some separation between the two, and then said no, and then they said fine. We are all quitting, and so they're all gone. Damn. And everyone just decided, and that's did they have other integrity. jobs lined up? Damn, that's that's pretty tough to do. Well, uh, hats off to them to yeah. to make a point. All twenty five um, of them um, resigned on the spot. So um, their grievance was what? 
Um, they didn't want to work for the like the people the, the the people in charge, and they wanted to like be separate and continue to do their own thing. And this company's like, no, we're going to roll you in under our umbrella, and I'm going to be in charge. You will do what we say you yeah. do, and you will work on what you say you will work on. As I know, Annapurna is big. They, you know, this is just the video game division. Yeah. They got the movie division, and now they're doing this big crossover. Did you know there's a stray live action movie coming for the kiddies? I did not. And then, and then I think they're working on Control 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, all, so. Yeah, all of the, the developers pretty much have said, look, this is horrible for Annapurna, but we're going to be able to continue to support our games and do all the things that we need to do. So if you're worried, I wouldn't be worried so much. This is more of a, you know, I've, hats off to these 25 people that, you know, like, oh, you want to be in charge? No, you can be in charge of nothing because we all quit. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Uh now we've got three months after firing Dr. Disrespect. Midnight Society uh, is doing significant layoffs. Um, they're saying that multiple unexpected challenges have forced uh, it to streamline our operations. Uh, this, again, is the uh, NFT game. That what? Uh, when you extract, it's going to be very crazy. With That's right. It was NFTs. Now nah, fuck that shit. Yeah. So it, with or without Doctor Disrespect, I'd say fuck that shit. Yeah. They they were trying to strike when the uh, the iron was hot, but the iron was hot four years ago during that three month period of time when everyone was worried that NFTs were going to take over, and then they haven't. And so I don't know if they're going to pivot, if it's still going to be part of their business plan, but I just can't wait to see all the videos where I was about to extract with the $1,000 super uber rare NFT, and then a guy shot him through a wall and another wall with an aimbot, and then then he stole the thing and then it's extracted because yep. uh, anytime you put serious amounts of money, which was the whole point, it's like play to earn was their, was their whole deal. You're going to get a lot of fucking cheaters. It's just going to be filled with cheaters, but... Um, they're saying that roughly 50% uh, of people um, have been laid off at the studio. I don't know what this means for the game, if it's going to continue to go out or if they're just going to kind of pivot and use the existing resources and just make an extraction shooter without that. But we will have to see. Uh, Microsoft has already uh, also uh, announced that they are going to cut another 650 staff from its games division. Phil Spencer uh, attributes it to the decision to the process of aligning its post-acquisition <laughs> team structure. They just did a bunch of layoffs, more layoffs. Oh, but Joe, Microsoft isn't profitable. Oh, wait, it's insanely profitable. But they're looking at the, the health of the division. They probably realize they spent way too many billions of dollars for Activision, Blizzard, King. And, I mean, this is just the way that it goes. So, you know, I... Hope that these people can find jobs at not yeah. shitty companies, but um, it's difficult. That is very difficult. Most of the companies will give you one chance to make a hit. You don't make it, you're gone. In fact, if you do make the hit, you're probably still gone. If you're on QA, it's like, if oh, congratulations, QA, you made one of the best gone. games ever. Well, you couldn't have done it without you. Find a new desk. Get up, <laughs> get the hell out of here. We don't, we don't want you here. Billionaires be billionaire. Yeah. So Microsoft has already laid off 1,900 employees from its game division, uh, and so this is just 650 on top of that. Uh, what I imagine is the way that this typically follows is next week I will be telling you about in the U.S. The watchdog agencies will be like, look, we told you. Because remember, the SEC, SEC did not want Microsoft's deal to go through saying that they would just acquire these companies and fire everyone. And it was going to be this horrible takeover. Uh, it's looking uh, like it. And then so <laughs> it's you know, looking like it. But the deal's already gone through. And so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you about the story other than Microsoft has continued to do that, but they continue to not have the mega hits they wanted. No. So, I don't know. Well, is it Why do you uh, DLC coming out soon? Starfield's going to save them. Young, wide-eyed <laughs> people are wondering why. Why, why, Alex? Why does it seem like the video game industry is the one that deals with these kinds of, you know, layovers or layoffs and, and, and grind when... When the video game industry is one of the biggest video, it's biggest the, industries. It's the biggest en- entertainment industry in the world. Well, the, the re- something must be wrong with, with those developers, this particular idiot. Because they care about investors only. Well, the reason <laughs> the reason is, is it, the, the video game industry is project-based. It's like the movie industry, right? You, yep. you get signed on for a movie, and when the movie is over, you're no longer working on that movie. And so some people are working specifically for the studio or the production company to help those movies goes on, but other people get brought on because they need additional staff. 
And so in the video game industry, if you're a developer for Activision, QA. that's probably an evergreen thing. You're to work on oh, all of Activision yeah. stuff. But if you're not specifically working on one of those teams, there's a lot of people getting moved around and shuffled around. And that's just the nature of project-based development that you get shuffled around. And sometimes, a lot of times, most of the time in Microsoft case, these people get fired. Yeah. And so... You know, it's an industry that people love and that will work, you know, work for less than they're worth to get into. And it's it's hard, but it's it's the dream, right? Yep. That's what they think until they, they do it. Well, that's what I got Sad. for this one. You had a couple others? Yeah, I got one. Uh, you know, speaking of NFTs, uh, the EVE player base is not too happy. And these are, you know, you don't want to piss off the EVE uh, guys. Because that game is a motherfucking is. spreadsheet. The Eve? You don't know Eve? The space? You don't? Oh, okay. Spreadsheets in space. You never played it? Spreadsheets in space. I liked it. It's been around a long time. Well, Eve players are now in revolt over CCP's blockchain plans. Quote, unquote, none of us want this crypto slop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Eve Frontier is they're doing a marketing push for this new um, upcoming uh, survival MMO called Eve Frontier. And that's in the Eve universe. Unfortunately, it uses blockchain tech. So, yeah. Um, I would be a little skeptical about it. Is it like for play to earn stuff? Yes. Oh, okay. And I and but a lot of the community is like, look, I I liked the initial video, but when I learned about some of this other stuff, I I'm not going to do it anymore. Like, don't do this, dear CCP, don't. Uh there is still time. You can still roll it back and pretend it never happened. None of us want this crypto slop. This is a de- desperate desperate cash grab. This attempt at creating something great. This game where buzzwords seem more important than gameplay. This is Web 7.0, Joe. You just don't get how this works. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, One player says they struggled with addiction, uh, but CCP's decisions have made it real easy not to go back. Uh, Not only are you releasing shit updates as per usual, now crypto bullshit is coming too. Wonderful. So another post. I have a solution to the E-Frontiers problem. Then he posts a picture with um, you just... We'll, we'll uh, say that's unplugging. Unplugging from the servers. But he really takes an Ethernet cable and he attaches it to a power cable, which would fuck the servers. Anyways, um, so yeah, they've got an announcement tweet on it. And a lot of uh, that attracted a lot of uh, detractors and, and skepticism. Releasing a blockchain game a year after the weird hype about that technology died... That's not a that's not a good move for you. It's not. And another user, Hannah, says, You guys are still pushing the blockchain horse shit with this? Or did you learn your lesson and make an actual good game for once? That's that's <laughs> I initially liked this because I like Eve, but I just wanted to say I retract my like because of the blockchain nonsense. Thanks. That was Rob. So yeah, uh people on the online forums, Discord are voice and the uh, Eve Frontier discussion thread are voicing uh, their concerns about should. all the blockchain bullshit. Yeah, fuck all this, man. I'm, we're not down with this. I, 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 these companies need to understand that that ain't that ain't your community, bro. Mm-hmm. You need to go after somebody different. Don't fuck with the Eve players. They they see right through your bullshit. Well, what's crazy is like this is they wanted to go like one step further than like the normal insidious microtransactions, which would make them dirty money. Like like it, if it's successful, like they want it to be, but. NFTs, it ne- it never worked in video games, right? There was never one that like took off and made significant money for any period of time. They took advantage of some people in the short term who yeah. thought that the dick butt picture was going to be how they retired. I don't understand their, their <laughs> response. Maybe you can can help me with this because I guess you can you fuck just over. Don't get it, <laughs> crypto bros. They, they here's CCP's messaging. Um, all I'm gonna say, as always. The, there's a community dev, uh, is that before anyone draws any conclusions, they should check it out. And give us money. <laughs> and then decide how they feel. If they're here for the Web3 tech and still hyped about it afterwards, then hell yeah, brother. And then this quote, if people want to play the game specifically to blow up crypto speculators, then hell yeah to that as well. 
So he wants people to engage in crypto speculation in order to fuck over crypto speculation. Maybe like PVP, like go kill people who are... I guess, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I see your angle. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Um, I always tell you, OJ, you, you, you really have to try certain things before you tell me <laughs> no. that you're not, you're not into them, right? That's the only way, right? Yes. All right? Well, yes. you can eat a dead bird in the gutter, <laughs> yeah. and uh, but you know, I'm you sure know Alex would have like chose fisting? something. How do you know? Yeah, like that. How do you know? Pass. Um... <laughs> If CCP does manage to get all of these players on board, it would be a turnaround of historic uh, proportions. As a PC gamer, they don't they don't think it's going to happen. Um, uh, Every time you say it, I think com- uh, the Chinese Communist Party, and I was like, this is such a weird because that's <laughs> CCP. Yeah, don't don't do. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's do Winnie the Pooh NFTs. I'm down. <laughs> Uh, still, if all goes wrong, a user named Rally FW has a plan. The best possible outcome here is that a bunch of crypto bros try the game, it sucks, and they come to EVE instead, where we can slowly degrade their indoctrination and or scam them, scam them into buying Enyo coin. Bro, I don't think you want the crypto bros in your community, because it's not like you can... I, I mean... That's a really rosy outlook that you could deprogram all of their, their hype for becoming millionaires overnight but it's pump and dumps really cool man it's going to be really hard to do confidence schemes all sorts of stuff love love that stuff you'll probably be left with a worse community and then ccp will say well see this is why we are building the game because most of our audience are crypto bros yeah no all right well that's that on that depressing news thank you for watching No, guys, if you want to uh, make protect your money, make sure you're not being charged a bunch of uh, monthly subscription well, programs sure and stuff like that. You actually did cancel your Ubisoft. Yeah, definitely Don't check forget. out Rocket Money. <laughs> All three of us use it. It's been great, amazing, and, uh, yeah, it's free. So check it out. Thank you so much for watching. We got the new shirts in. Go check them out. And uh, stay tuned this week. Plenty more content coming, including... Um, some cool video games, uh, just more work on the reviews, some streams, uh, Rings of Power, and I think Agatha and, and Penguin Agatha are coming out along. this, this week as well. So stay tuned. A lot, lot coming. Thank y'all. Bye. Bye everybody. See you on the next Angry Joe show.